Hello and welcome back to Karyozoology lecture series. By the end of the lecture number 7 you will be able to know what is a liver and what are the classes of liver. Some examples of liver from the human body and the importance of these liver in the physical therapy. Then first of all what is the liver? The liver is a rigid bar that can rotate around a fixed point. And some important terms about this liver is first one is the fulcrum or the axis that is the fixed point around which the liver moves. The second one is the force also known as the effort that causes the liver to move and the resistance that can sometime regarded as load that must be overcome for the motion the resistance can be weight of the part or the weight of gravity on that part or some external weight in the human body the joint is the axis and the force is produced by the contraction of the muscle and the resistance is the moving bone then the force arm or the effort arm it is the distance between the force and the axis and the resistance arm or the weight arm is the distance between the load and the axis with the increase in the force arm the object will be easier to move and with the increase in the resistance arm the load will be difficult to move there are three classes of liver the first one is the first order liver that has fulcrum between the load and the force the example from the daily living is the scissor that has a fulcrum or the joint between the effort that is produced by the holding part and the load that is the cutting part of the scissor and in the human body example of the first order liver is the movement of the neck on the vertebrae in which the vertebrae are the fulcrum or the axis and the neck extension is the resistance while the effort is produced by the extensor muscles of the neck in the first order liver the fulcrum can either be close to the load or the force if the fulcrum is close to the load that it will have a longer force arm and with the longer force arm the object or the resistance will be easily overcome but through a short distance while with the shorter force arm when the fulcrum will be closer to the force it will be hard to move the resistance but it can be moved through a long distance and with the fulcrum in middle between the load and the force it favors the balance the load is between the force and the fulcrum as the second order liver has a long effort arm so a less power is needed to overcome the weight so it is the liver of mechanical advantage the example from the normal routine is the is the wheel barrow that has a wheel as a fulcrum the contents are the resistance and the pushing force by the person is the effort and in the human body the example of the second order liver are the plantar flexor in which the plantar flexors contract to produce the force the metatarsophalangeal joint forms the axis while the resistance is the tibia and the rest of the body weight above it in the third order liver the force is between the fulcrum and the load as it has a shorter force arm or the longer resistance arm this is the liver of no mechanical advantage but it provides us with the speed from the daily living the holder is the example of the third order liver
and from the human body elbow flexion is the example of the third order liver in which the elbow joint is the fulcrum the moving effort is produced by the bicep and the resistance is the moving hand or something that is present in the hand in the physical therapy these levers are used to increase the efficacy of the work and to reduce the wastage of the energy through these lever human body can achieve more movement and resilience in a physical therapy the lever can be used for the strengthening of a muscle as to strengthen the muscle we have to increase the resistance or the weight which is to be overcome but also be increased until such time as no further progression is possible or desirable this strengthening can be achieved either by increasing the weight or by increasing the resistance arm the weight can be increased by some external means and the resistance arm can be increased by increasing the leverage abduction of the arm at the shoulder joint with the elbow flex reduces the leverage and relatively weak muscular contraction is produced whereas when the elbow is extended and the leverage is increased a more powerful contraction being produced likewise with the patient in a lying position a known resistance given at the level of the knee joint is more easily overcome by the extensor of the hip than the same resistance applied at the foot when the knee is straight if you like my video then give it a thumbs up like and share and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you